I'm high as I've ever been, higher than heaven sits. Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness. How to stay current. What's going on my boys? It's your boy Ray and welcome back to another episode of Bleach Bracelets. In today's video, we are going to be discussing K-Lab and what's K-Lab doing trying to trick us leading up to this probably crazy Bunkai Shuhei banner that's going to drop end of month. So as you guys know, the trailer came out for Bunkai Shuhei on Twitter and Facebook. If you haven't seen it, I'll play the clip for you right now. Shuhei. Shuhei. So as you guys saw, it looks freaking sick. They did a really good job. Nothing was really teased besides a little bit of a story and um, just a uh, screenshot pretty much of what his banner picture was going to look like but besides that we I saw no gameplay no ultimate move no nothing so Bunkai Shuhei is still a mystery and I don't think we'll know anything about him up until three days before the banner drops so today is the 24th we'll probably get more info on the 28th slash 29th so Friday or Saturday and the banner will probably drop Monday or Tuesday boys probably Monday actually so we have about one week till the banner comes out and about four days till we get info but Caleb, 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 Caleb are doing some sneaky shit, boys. So as you guys know, if we go to the, I'm on the Steam version, by the way. That's why it looks really sexy right now. Um, hold on. As you guys know, we just got the Thousand Year Blood War. Um, I mean the yeah Thousand Year Blood War banner that just came out, which was Basby, Uryu, and Jugram. Fantastic banner. Right after the 50 year anniversary banner, boys. Um, which was also a great banner, but shitty fillers, good units though. So, Caleb, if we go to the store, now has the Camp for Your Own World Noitra. And as you guys know, last week, it was the first round of Camp for Your Own World, which was Hikone, uh, Neliel, and Grimjow. Um, before that, we had, um, more, uh, Thousand Year Blood War characters. We had a big pool, which was Yama. Thousand Year Blood War Mayuri, Thousand Year Blood War Nemu, Thousand Year Blood War Soifon. Um, and yeah, so they are throwing us so many banners back to back, trying to get us to use all of our orbs. And that's why I feel that, um, what's his name? Uh, Hisagi is going to be a beast of a character because they are really pushing for us to spend all our orbs with these banners. Like there are some awesome units. Don't get me wrong. Like I would love Neutra. Neutra is definitely on my top list to get. But is it worth going in for him right now? No, not until we see the stats of Bunkai Shuhei. So, uh, Uryu's banner is live. We already knew that. That's not really clickbait. That's That goes with every banner, you know? It's Uryu Day. But let's go on to the news. And I'm going to show you guys why it's so terrible. So, right after they released these summons, they announced the update for the Founder Summons, which is the Blood Warfare Summons. Um, so Uetsu, Ichibei, and Orihime, and all of them individually are pretty solid units, um, but especially Oetsu and the homie Ichibei are like not must-haves anymore because Oetsu has been, or Ichibei has been dethroned from PvP, but he is still a beast of a PvP unit with Start Barrier, Flurry, Poise, Barrier Pierce, uh, Bruiser and Berserker with DR. So he's a solid blue unit. I would love to have him. Also, just for collection purposes, I have zero squad, zero members. Um, so I would love to get one of these two. But it's not worth summoning on until we know what Bunkai Shuhei stats are. So I have a strong feeling that they are going to pump out some crazy summons in the next few days, guys. Trying to get us to spend before this banner. Like... We had Fierce Battle, we have Thousand Year Blood War, The Balance, Alternate Summons, which released. Uh, let's go to all the older notices. So just in the month of August, we had the Alternate Rebirth, alternate rebirth Summons. We had the Thousand Year Blood War Separation Step Up Summons. And then if we go on to this month, uh, we had the Alternate Rebirth 1, the Incomparable Slash Evolution Summons. These are five days apart. And then we had the Genius Summons, which was mid-month. And then we had um, the alternate rebirth 2, which is going on right now. And now we're getting the founder summon. So 
if we go through the list boys we're gonna hop on to soul Dex's website so shout out the homie soul Dex boys uh it's called bbssimilar.com feel free to donate to the homie he provides us so much information right as it comes out everything you need to know about bbs is pretty much on this website but if we go to thousand year blood war banners um we can see that they're just slapping on banner after banner so I'm afraid, boys, that they're going to try to get us to summon all of our orbs. So as you can see, this banner was live, okay? It was uh, came out December 31st, 2019, and I have a strong feeling that in a few days, we're going to get the second part, which is uh, the Quin the Quintens, uh Bl Blood War banner, which is uh, Tenjiro, Sanjumaru, and Kirio, uh, which are also awesome characters, definitely not must-haves kirio is actually really sick um and then they're gonna hit us with i'm scared they're gonna hit us with the stern raider banner boys because this banner would get me to summon basby i mean sorry askin candace and bambietta i would definitely summon on this banner so i hope this releases post uh hisagi or at least after i know his stats because i don't want to summon on any banner until i know hisagi stats but as we're seeing they're going from start to finish so i believe after this banner that's going to go in probably four four days three days they're going to release the next thousand year blower banner which is going to be uh this one the quint the quintens banner and then after that they're going to probably release if we go into can't fear your own world since they went from alternate rebirth one to alternate rebirth two and then they also had alternate rebirth four i'm guessing we're gonna get the third one which is let's see where is it which is probably going to be this one the undiscovered truth and then they're just going to keep hitting us with banners probably stark's going to re-return this one's going to come next for sure alternate rebirth three stark xylopro and aro nero so they are just throwing so many good banners at us back to back trying to get us to go to zero before bunkai shuhei boys but all i'm going to say is as tempting as these banners are do not summon on them guys do not summon on them until we know bunkai shuhei stats literally the second it releases i will put out a video at three in the morning i'm sure all the bus youtubers will and i'm sure you guys will also see it on twitter but save your orbs these characters will always come back we don't know how good uh shuhei is going to be and we don't even know the other two units on the banner they could be better than shuhei for all we know he could be getting the shaft which i doubt because he was the one being teased on the trailer and he's the one being teased right now six days seven days prior which doesn't usually happen for banners so save boys that's all i'm going to say you can do a multi or two i'm going to do one multi on the founder banner only because the first multi is going to cost 50 orbs if you have a lot of multi uh, a lot of orbs you're a relatively new account you have thousands on thousands to still get i would go up to step five maybe even step six considering step six is also going to be 50 um but that's that's it guys that's it because we're going to be we're probably going to be getting the stern ridders coming back again too we're probably gonna be getting more squad zero members coming back too but you have to you have to hold up, boys. Hold up, all right? Because Bunkai Shuhei is coming. We speculate he's going to be a PvP unit. Maybe the counter to Jugram. I don't know if they'll release a counter to him that early, but we never know, guys. We never know. So save your orbs. Don't fall for these scams. If you're going to, do one multi like your boy Ray. 50 orbs for 10 pulls is pretty worth it, even though it's shit rates. It happens, guys. So save those orbs. And uh, K-Lab, don't let them... Don't let them take us for fools, boys. Don't let them take us for fools because uh, I'm, I want I want to have close to 2,500 orbs by the time uh, Shuhei gets released, which is in a few days. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know uh, if these banners have tempted you, if you summoned on them, and uh, how excited you are for the homie Bunkai Shuhei. Do you think he's going to be? Um, do you think he's going to be a PvP character or a PVE character? So let me know. And uh, definitely, guys, check out my streams. I'm streaming almost every day, if not every day, for some extreme co op So check to see if I have a stream scheduled and come watch. It's a fun time. We grind with the boys. Sometimes we do some summons at the end. And today, we got actually Uru in our summons. And I'm going to play the clip for you guys right now. So thank you, guys. Hope you enjoy and uh, enjoy this clip. Three out of five on this. The Fierce Battle, I'm missing one. And... And we'll do our last one. No, no Maltese. Maltese, fuck Maltese today. Maltese we're going to save. Okay. Last one. <gasps> oh, 
<laughs> what? 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 Yo! 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 That's how you do it, boys. That's how you do it, boys. Oh my god. Oh my god, boys.